it's a massive machine, but it's, it's a real piece of precision engineering too. From the moment we launched the kit to make the first internal module, right through to the engine being dispatched, it's 20 days. The fan blade delivers 75% of the engine's thrust. It shifts about 1.2 tonnes of air per second when it's at full throttle. After about 30 seconds, you've got to come away. You can't stand there too long. If you do, you just start burning. Every bit of this is all put together by hand. We used to fit a bolt that was wrong. The aircraft was to come down. We run thousands of hours of testing. An explosive detonation releases the blade from the disc at max takeoff speed and fires it into the fan case. The engine is destroyed. Derby is Rolls Royce. You mentioned Derby, everybody says Rolls Royce. It's a very tough competition with one of the most powerful and uh, competitive companies in the world in general electric. It's not until you see Trent Fleet fly over. Ah, I've made my own commitment in that. Today, you know, we're the lead. We're the most efficient engine flying in the world. Boeing 001 Heavy Cloud is verified walking 4717. This is the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Designed to be the most fuel-efficient jumbo jet ever, it's touted as the future of air travel. Even in sort of a grey Seattle day, that paint job is beautiful. After years in development, the plane is finally ready for its very first flight. The weather's atrocious, but it's a make-or-break moment for Boeing's first new airliner in 10 years. And no one's more gripped than these engineers watching live over the web in Derby. Because they have designed and built the plane's groundbreaking jet engines using technology that'll save each plane three million pounds a year in fuel. If the flight goes according to plan, Rolls-Royce could find themselves building the greenest, cleanest engine for many of the world's airlines and securing orders in a highly competitive industry.